the amount of parity in the NFL this year has been something that just has not been replicated in quite a while. I'm very surprised at the amount of parity that this league has had this year. And I gotta tell you, the way things have been playing out, you'd think that this week would be interesting with the lack of really big games. A lot of the bigger teams are off this week, actually. You know, the Bills are off, Chargers off, Cowboys off. You know, a lot of teams with, with very gaudy records so far. Or off. It does feel kind of top heavy. Same time, feels kind of mediocre. You know, a lot of mediocre teams are playing. You know, this week, and I mean, it just is what it is. Browns Broncos is going to be interesting tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. Case Keenum is getting the start for the Browns instead. Uh, Baker Mayfield got injured on Sunday, and I guess you know whatever it was that injured him, you know, must have limited him to the point. To where the Browns, you know, are going to have to rely on Case Keenum tonight. Um, I really have nothing really big to say about this game. I might be watching it alongside a college football game tonight, so there's kudos to that. Chiefs-Titans is a big one on Sunday. You know, the Chiefs have been reeling. Patrick Mahomes has been turning the ball over at a crazy rate. Defense has not looked good at times. The you know, the rest of the offense, you know, was either injured or, you know, not performing up the par. Like, when's the last time you really mentioned Travis Kelsey? I mean, not really. You've seen Tariq Hill drop a couple passes in the past couple weeks. Like, huge passes that should help the Chiefs out, you know. So, I don't know what's wrong with the Chiefs. Titans are feeling pretty nice after a big win, you know, on Monday night against the Bills. I got to tell you. They got to get their defense together too. You know, the Titans have been very consistent. They're a forward two team right now, but they're an inconsistent one, a very inconsistent one. Um, the Packers and Washington. I really, you know, I'm really gonna say the same thing I said about it about the Bears and the Packers last week, and that is, you know, the Packers are gonna have a tough time with Washington, but if they can pull away, uh, you know. You got Chase Young on that defense. You know, if the Packers can pull away from from Washington, you know they're at home too. So you know, you know there's gonna be some Lambo leaps on Sunday if, if things go their way. You know, I don't I don't expect Taylor Heineke to do anything really spectacular or anything like that. You know, Bengals Ravens. You know, this game's gonna be pretty interesting to see right here. We'll see what Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow can do against this Ravens defense. Ravens defense at times, you know, sometimes, you know, they've really, really screwed the pooch on themselves, you know, in hit games to where they almost lost games by looking absolutely dreadful. And then you got guys like Marlon Humphrey, you know, doing what they need to do best, you know. And I mean I mean the Ravens blew out the Chargers last week. I mean they blew them out, blew them out the water to the point where, you know, it, it took completely unexpected. You know, Panthers have to be reeling right now. You know, they started off great. They've lost three straight. Giants are just a mess right now. You got Danny Dimes throwing picks everywhere. You got the offense just being a disaster. Offensive line not there. Defense not there. I mean, Panthers. You know, they're not gonna make. They're not gonna make it any easier for the Giants. Not gonna make it any easier for them. And now, you know, we, just yesterday we learned that Tua Tagovailoa is probably being used as trade bait in a potential three-team trade as we come up to the Falcons and the Dolphins. The Dolphins are desperate for a win. They need a victory somehow that salvage their season. Like, they've had a rough season so far. And the Falcons, you know, the Falcons are still rebuilding themselves. You know, I, I don't know what they're going to do. You know, they got a long season ahead themselves. Um, you know... Yeah, it's it's a trade. I believe it's a trade to the Texans and to the Washington Football Team. I have no idea how this is going to work out. I do know Tua is limited. You know, at, at some point he is limited, so I don't know if he'll be playing on Sunday or not. But the Dolphins need a victory. Dolphins need a victory. So do the Falcons. Jets Patriots. I really have nothing to say. It's the Jets. I mean. Same thing. It's like saying playing the Giants. Really, nothing to talk about here. You'll get a, you'll get your one Jets victory this year, and that's about it. You know, um, Patriots. They they really, you know, they really need to work on some things themselves. In all honesty, like the game against Dallas. You know, they 
couldn't they, they couldn't stop Dak. They could not stop him game against Tom Brady and the, and the Buccaneers. They couldn't stop Tom Brady at the end. You know, like they seems like they hulk up, you know, but that they turned back into Bruce Mayer at one point, you know. So it you know, they they gotta hulk up for the entire game, you know, the Patriots do. Eagles Raiders is an interesting one, I'll tell you that right now. You know, the way the Raiders have been, with the way the organization has been, you know, over the past couple weeks with all the controversy surrounding John Gruden and stuff like that, Eagles are just trying to get some kind of momentum back. Like, I, I don't think this team is really ready to do anything in the NFC, so I don't think it's really ready to do anything, you know. A lot of people are going to put the blame on Jalen Hurts, but I mean, again, the rest of the team hasn't really been there at all. You know, especially defense, you know, at times it hasn't been there. Offense at times, too, hasn't really been there. I mean, who who, who does Hurts throw to on offense, you know, in all honesty? Like, I haven't seen an Eagles game in a couple weeks, so I'll see. So I'll see what the Eagles can do against the Raiders because there's not an appealing enough slate at the uh, late window to really garnage anything. You know, you got the Lions, the Rams. Lions are going to play the Rams pretty tough. I can guarantee you that right now, you know. We'll see what Jared Goff can do against his former team and Matthew Stafford. You know, will do against his former team. So we'll see how this goes. You know, this this one could be pretty interesting. You know, if you're looking at that, Bears Bucks is the big 325 window game. I don't know why it is, but I mean, you know, the Bears they've shown some promise with Justin Fields at times. You know, they had you know they had Herbert in the backfield last week. Um, you know, running it for a couple touchdowns. Uh, the Bears, you know, again, are trying to show some promise. They they still got a long season to go themselves. And the Bucks, you know, they look to continue to dominate. And I think, you know, if things go their way, the way this team has been playing, you know, they've been running rough shot over everybody this year. You know, except for the, you know, except for the time that they lost. You know. Bucks have been running pretty rampant. The Cardinals are looking to stay undefeated against the Texans. At the end, the Texans are just a dumpster fire right now. There's really no need to talk about this game because, I mean, I don't know why it's stuck at 325 like this. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know, the Texans, they're not that good a team. I'm expecting the Cardinals to win this game pretty easily. The way the Texans have played, you know, there's really nothing you can say about Davis Mills that hasn't been said already. I mean, he's just there. You know, there's nothing he can do with the, with the way this team has been playing, with the way this team has been ran into the ground. There's really nothing you can do. Colts Niners is the Sunday night game, and Saints Seahawks is the Monday night game. Saints Seahawks, I really don't have high expectations for. I'm surprised that the Saints are even, you know, three and two right now. They had a bye last week, or yeah, I think it was last week they had a bye. Um, Seahawks, you know, they are. I don't know what's wrong with the Seahawks right now. Like, this defense, you know, they had to get it restructured to a point where it's just not even, it's not even the same anymore, you know. Like, this defense has just looked lost the entire season. You got Jamal Adams looking lost like a little puppy out there trying to find his owner. You know, he's, he's, he's looking lost out there. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with the man. And um, the Colts 49ers, I have really no expectations about this game at all. None at all, man. None at all. I really don't know. I really don't know, man. I really don't know about the Colts 49ers. I don't think I'm going to even watch this. Like, 49ers have been just so... Ugh. It's a painful to watch. You know, the Colts, you know, haven't really looked good either. You know, they've looked kind of rough at times to watch, too. Like, I just don't know. I just don't know, man. You know. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough. It's been a rough season so far for a lot of teams. A lot of teams are like two and four, three and three right now, one and five. You know, really. You know, I mean, again, you know, feels way. It feels like it's way more parity, but at the same time, you know, a lot of top heavy teams this year. You know, again, um, Seahawks need to improve. You know, honesty. You know, you know they. Seahawks still don't have Russell Wilson. They're gonna be without him for a while. I don't know how much longer. You know, it's been a couple weeks now, so presumably another couple weeks or so, maybe even a month, that he'll be gone. But you know, Seahawks. You know, they got Geno Smith. You know, and he played serviceably against the Steelers. He played okay at the end against the Rams. So I think you know things can 
go a little bit better, you know, for the Seahawks. I think they might be able to, you know, put something out nice. Saints, on the other hand, I really have nothing to say. Uh, it's, you know, we all thought that Jameis Winston was the real deal after week one, and we see how quickly we were wrong, because, I mean, the Saints are just, okay. It's just like, okay, this is the same Jameis Winston that we see. He can throw a 70-yard bomb for a touchdown, but he can also throw a pick six, like, right there. Like, like that. Just, just like that. So, we'll see what week seven can give us. I'm not as excited for the slate of games this week, but, you know, things do change. I mean, this is the NFL. Any given Sunday around here, boy. Any given Sunday. All right, everybody, that's it. Um, this one will be up in about a few minutes or so, so, you know, 6 o'clock, that's usually when I upload these. So, you know, prep for the weekend, you know, the Saturday video, college football recap. Oh, boy, we got some spiciness already. And... Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.